Well, LFC uh, came to be because Lexus came to us and asked us to explore a new concept direction for a two plus two luxury sports coupe. We all know that LFA is a really cool Lexus supercar, but it's really hard to obtain that vehicle. It's very low production, the cost is super high. Um, even if you could af afford one, you may not be able to get one. So we wanted to take some of the exotic spirit of that car, but bring it down to an obtainable level. When we started designing this car, we definitely had a clean sheet of paper. Um, those things don't happen very often. Um, and obviously for everybody involved, it's very exciting. And it was a good opportunity for us to really start from scratch. We took a lot of inspiration from both kind of the natural, organic, nature, warm side, and kind of the cool, technical, thin side. And we tried to really create a kind of a unique and distinctive blend of, you know, technology and beauty. We really tried to do a new innovative process, kind of break the traditional rules of sketching. You know, we always start with the pen and the paper and we start sketching. Um, kind of going back to the more innovative roots of Calthi, we tried instituting a new process um, where we actually used kind of abstract shape research. What we did is we actually took something organic and turned it into something mechanical. So we took uh, a, this really tall uh, leaf, it was a beautiful plant, and we scanned it digitally. And uh, we basically turned that digital information, turned it into 3D information, and uh, used a vacuum forming process, and we pulled down shapes on top of that organic to digital process. Now creating those shapes kind of opened up some new opportunities for us, and it was able to lead our design team to think of some new creative ways to expand shape. Um, you can see it actually really uh, influenced the interior and ended up uh, very much so influencing the exterior. We came up with this form language called fluid precision design. So you can see, especially this rear three quarter, this was I'd say our main exterior target sketch. Has that feeling of motion from front to rear, the really dynamic surface movement that fluid precision, those ribbons wrapping around the wheels, that lightweight cantilevered roof, and of course the very dramatic rear end. Um, you can see that also, that shape carrying through in the front. And we talk about it a lot, it's the Lexus spindle grill. Um, it's a large part of our identity. And we really focused on how to carry that into the next generation, how to make it more sculptural, more beautiful, more artistic. The spindle grill, it serves as a sculptural cornerstone it really serves as the axis point where it, it creates a very strong relationship throughout the vehicle design and the surfaces that emanate from it. The headlights, it's really uh, exposing the incisive details leading to a new tech image. Technology that not only shows efficiency but also provokes an emotional response. The cabin is sleek, stretched horizontally, and embraced by the rear shoulder surfaces, creating a unique cockpit-like window graphic. The glass rear quarter panel wraps tightly around the corner, leaving a floated and lightweight C-pillar, anchored by a unique sculptural aluminum piece. The rear of the car creates a simple, bold statement. The plan views of the cabin flow continuously into a solid spindle form stretched outwards by the tail lamps and then the sculptural quad exhaust. The visually infinite taillight LED graphics are inspired by aerospace afterburners, portraying an image of a road jet from a distance. Now a lot of the form language that Eddie developed on these final renderings Ben took that same form language and carried it onto the interior. And I think you see a lot of the same shapes that you see on the rear flare, a lot of the light feeling that you see in the cabin, you see that as well on the interior. Uh, Lexus was looking for something more avant-garde and kind of a really strong statement that, that is distinctly Lexus that kind of combines some uniquely Japanese sense of technology and this beautiful kind of artistry. So. Uh, 
the things that we looked at were a lot of things in nature and a lot of things in technology that kind of came together in this uh, kind of different synergy of tech and art. The, the kind of the beautiful organic shapes, they kind of fill the interior with all these beautiful points for you to look at, but inside of them, we have kind of this counterbalance of kind of high tech and thin. But here we were trying to create this kind of contrast and synergy between the two different tastes. There's a lot of uh, uh, combination of a negative surface versus positive surface or a soft material versus hard material. Um, it's more of a combination of all this um, sort of like a, a warm zone and a tech zone where the tech zone you have a lot of uh, technology that's uh, laid on the console. All the services that are kind of on the outside are the kind of the smooth leather and then very much in kind of keeping with nature, the inside of these surfaces are more of a suede surface. The very cool brushed metal, kind of brushed aluminum, it, it provides, a, it's warm and cool at the same time and it kind of counterbalances against this gorgeous uh, high chroma um, gun metal that we have placed throughout the interior in kind of a structural way. Everything is meant to kind of harmonize and you, you see between shape, form and material, there's a balance and a counterbalance between everything. So the HMI in this is kind of a Lexus's, this is not necessarily the future, but this represents a, a, a potential future for Lexus. And it's, we call it kind of a blind tech board. And the way that it works is that you put your hand down on the interface here, and it's nothing you need to actually look at, but there would be kind of a force feedback where you can actually feel, feel the smoke that's underneath your hand. And as you kind of run your hand across it, it reacts to you. And the screen above you, that actually is the, the information that you're trying to scroll through. If you have to enter into any kind of alphanumeric, there's a function where you can click into this and actually the keyboard would pop up and you can enter uh, information, obviously not blind, but into, into a more conventional sense. Also wanted to focus a lot of the um, details on the steering wheel that really connects, you, connects the driver to the car. And then on the, as you can see on the, mock, uh, the actual car, uh, even the, the pedal design is very much um, inspired by the real racing car. So it's a very true sort of like a sports car, but also a very luxurious, uh, you know, uh, interior also. One thing we're trying to do is really elevate the premiumness of the Lexus brand. So we think this car is a good symbol of that direction that we want to head in. Another point that we want to make is to really show our passionate, performance-oriented spirit as a company. And we think this car communicates that.